Oh hey, welcome back. I'm opening a toy store. If you haven't heard, here's the thing. I packed every ounce of footage I could into this video about opening this toy store. And the name of the game is doing it as cheap as possible. If you've been watching this channel, you know I don't like to spend money on nothing. So we're stocking the store from the Goodwill bins. Plenty of videos on the channel already showing that off, so go check those out. We're trying to find as many of the store fixtures for the store and some of the usable tools like you see behind me down here for the workshop below the store on Marketplace. That's very important to us. So there's gonna be a lot of Marketplace deals on this video. But if you ever wondered what it looks like to open a toy store, much less to do it as cheap as possible, you're on the right video. It's, we're gonna show you. You're gonna know by the end of this what it looks like to just grind out a toy store. So stick around. So much is happening at the shop today. For starters, I'm bagging up Pokemon cards. Still just painting stuff, you know, the usual. But there's a bunch of construction going on upstairs. They're building us a bathroom and a try-on room. And then they're also sort of doing some of the prep work to put our flooring in. A lot going on. I'm thinking about going to buy some paint today and get to work on some paint. Check this out. Four and a half more inches of the There is a burrito joint right next door to our store. These are actually the construction trucks beside our building. Uh, I'm excited. It strangely feels more real now that I'm not in the basement alone. There's people running around working on stuff. We're having burritos for lunch. What'd you get? Uh, chicken burrito. Oh yeah? Chips and salsa. Oh, very nice. The store is called Duck Duck Blue, so the color scheme in the store, of course, is going to be rubber duck yellow and blue. It is time to paint. I'm not looking forward to this, but it's gotta be done. So this is the expensive one coat paint now. I sort of did the outsides, so all the way over there, and then I sort of stopped around the construction crew, but I'm out of paint, so I need to go get a second can. Fill that wall in. Uh, one can will more than do that, so we'll have some left over, but the whole rest of the store is gonna be different colors. As you can see back here, I ran out of paint. This wall is all that's left. But now that we've been away for a couple hours to come back, it looks like it's dried pretty well. The frustrating thing here is these walls are just like panel board and sitting empty for the 10 years this building did, they absorb some moisture and stuff. So they're very imperfect, but every, one, every inch of it's getting covered with shelving and clothes racks and stuff. So I'm not too worried about the warping. I don't think you can even see it on camera. But I'm gonna finish this wall today. And then the rest of this store, it's sort of hard to say exactly what's gonna happen, but. It's gonna get turned into a rainbow down this wall and I'm gonna color, I'm gonna paint each section of the wall a little different for like what's gonna go in front of it. Maybe a yellow Lego wall, an orange Nerf wall, etc. But right now, the blue is what matters. Gonna get started on the nerf corner now that the blue is out of the way. Well, most of the blue. Probably still more blue to come. But there's probably no need to be in as big as a hurry as I feel like I am. But the paint goes up so fast and it's starting to really feel real seeing it come together like that. I'm gonna start throwing up some pegboard for the nerf, because why not? Let's get let's get the nerf section going. Let me introduce you here to my new favorite thing in the world, my pool behind trailer. My dad actually had a motorcycle trailer that's been sitting out behind our house, pretty much inoperable, dry rotted tires, broken taillights. So I've brought the thing home, replaced the tires, replaced the taillights, and now I have a, what I'm calling my marketplace buggy. Here's the trailer I picked up yesterday, and uh, thank God I did because I wouldn't be able to buy this clothes rack without it. Now I gotta go get it. You wouldn't believe how many Home Depot trips I've made. Definitely a two coat situation on the orange. 
I don't know how well you can tell the camera, but that was a curved wall. The roller did not like it. I had to do a lot of sideways painting. I'm not sure if I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here or if I'm really being clever and using all my resources, but I have this drain table that I bought at the bins. I bought it at the bins, didn't have room in my car. This was before the trailer. And I had to break the legs off to get it home. And so it's just a simple trailer. It's just, so it's just a simple table. It's kind of busted up. But I just needed for the base to put Ikea legs on that I bought at the bins forever ago uh, to make it into another bin table to put toys, maybe potato head, I don't know. But I, I need 20 more tables upstairs, like no exaggeration. So I'm not gonna let that go to waste. Uh, I really need my nail gun. I'm so sporadically doing so many projects, I don't know where I keep laying stuff down. Oh, I'll put it back where it goes. We can save. We have the technology. Will it hold? We don't know. Right? How about that? Now we're gonna sit around for a while and pontificate on the layout as it should go from here. Cool. Looks good. Don't you think that'll be better than on the wall? Don't you think that'll be better than on the wall? That's my main concern. Yeah. Be a pretty sick nerf table, I think. Just better than hanging them on the wall. I put plastic tabs on them off camera and hung them on pegboard and hated it. I'm not about to spend hours of my life doing that once the store's open. Just over the table. Pre lunch Goodwill stop and I bought some Nerf guns and a buzz. This is a miniature version of a much bigger gun. Pretty popular gun though. This I have all the extras for. Nerf stuff is really important to the store. If you watch this channel much at all, you know I've bought all the Nerf stuff I've come across over the years. And that's the only reason I have enough Nerf stuff to fill this table right here. And that's only about half of it. So as long as I don't sell out in the first couple weeks, we should have a good, good bit of Nerf stuff uh, to stock the toy store with. Fingers crossed. All of today's work we got effectively Nerf, I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna go, but I think Thomas, Lego, bag wall, not sure yet about the other. You see the theme, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. It took me quite a bit of thinking to come to that. Closed part of the store is blue. Gaming Pokemon sort of area is gonna be yellow. So it's sort of half and half, and then the rest is alternate. And that's gonna sort of be the color scheme, but I can't get that all done today. I sort of want to, but I'll just be here till late at night. I don't need to act like a workaholic. Back in my daily posting days, that's the kind of thing that got me to a rather low sub level of, how would you say this? I was unwell, working so hard so long all the time. So we're gonna take it easier on this new venture. I didn't just break that. Very well could have. Uh, okay. And I've only just today figured out how to turn my store lights off. They're on a breaker. So, should just be bam, 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 bam. And then my store floor is lights out. I don't think I'm gonna finish painting in the next few days because we've got Ben's trips coming up, but uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with where it's at. The yellows need another coat. It was not a one coat coat of paint like the blue was. The orange is probably gonna need a second one also, but that's okay. There you go. Let's turn it into a toy store. I feel so domesticated because not only did I replace the tail lights, I got new wheels today, new tires, and we just used the trailer to get lawn furniture because we're adults. Okay, 
I thought this part of the video was over. For those people that we just bought that yard furniture from earlier in the day, later in the day, they posted something awesome, which I've got on the back of my trailer now. This trailer's been so clutch. Check this out. That's a rip. That's a rip. Check this out. Ooh, baby, a drill press. And I'm not messing around. I'm going to put it on my lift. I'm not carrying it down the stairs. That's the light. Drill press. Having this trailer just keeps on giving me wins because we were in Indianapolis at the Google Bins last week and just checking marketplace. Every probably half hour, see what's popped up. And I found a couple store fixtures perfect for the store. Dump bin with a high dump bin. Little Squishmallows, big Squishmallows probably, and it's on wheels. It's supposed to be a comic book rack, but I think I can space it out and either put gaming magazines, Nintendo Power, etc., or maybe coloring books for the kids. I don't know. But, uh, I, funny enough, I just bought this book rack and I saw it on Marketplace, but it had weird spacing, so I thought it was weird. So I recognized it when he saw it. <laughs> the spacers just move on their own. So. Super stoked on that. I'm just going to take these spacers out. I think they, yep, they lift right off. Gaby magazines, baby, oh, baby, I don't know. Trailer just keeps coming in clutch. The magazine rack needs no explanation really, does it? I mean, Nintendo power, etc. But this big dump bin, oh, I'm torn. And I watch your suggestions below what to put in it. It's basically either Squishmallow, big ones in the bottom, little ones on top. I've got enough Squishmallow to fill three of those. Or I've got about enough Beanie Baby, both new and old to fill it, where I could put like vintage Beanie Baby up here and all that new TY stuff, Thai stuff down here. This is a, a display thing. One of you guys sent me in, uh, to our PO box. So tell me that wouldn't be beautiful mounted right up there. That really makes me want to make it Beanie Baby stuff, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. So I do keep calling this a toy store in these videos, and that's because I'm a content creator. I'm sort of taking my camera and focusing on what I'm doing. But make no mistake, this is a toy and clothing buy, sell, trade store, uh, much like a Once Upon a Child or other stores like that you may or may not be familiar with. So it's time to talk about clothes racks. We need a lot of clothes racks for this store, and it has been a really big ongoing saga trying to find exactly what clothes racks we want, and trying to find enough of them. So here's the start of the clothes rack saga. It's serious. It's pretty late after getting back home. We've been home, showered, and ate. And now we're trying out a clothes rack that just came from Bell. It's like, you know, galvanized steel pipe. You can buy this stuff at Home Depot usually, but this is like a free pre-fabricated one. And uh, we're seeing how we like it. I think we like it, because for baby clothes, go a little higher and go four down the wall. I just wish they came in a length where they would reach standard stud sizes. They don't really. So it's on center stud and then anchored on the outside. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. I'm going to have to buy that. Big clothes rack for the store and Lego. Is this the loading dock? Yep. Is that it? Yeah, thank you. You too. That's awesome. I've looked at every clothing rack online, looking for something that sort of skinny and specific, and it doesn't really show up. And I find one at a St. Vincent Paul. I wish I was a welder. I would just make 10 more. I'm about to fit like a glove. Having a trailer is nice. It's 
seriously, if anybody knows where a hoard of these are, I want them. I'll drive anywhere to get them. So I bought that clothes rack at St. Vinny's. Came back the next day, which was yesterday. They had another one out. I'm here to pick it up this morning. I'm just gonna ask them if they have more, but I show up here and there's just like a dozen people waiting outside the door, which I've never seen. I don't know if they know something I don't. We're gonna go see. They're running. Morning. morning. How you doing? Good. What's you have for today? That rack right there is Ron. Alright, we got another one if you're interested. I am. I was going to ask if you had any more of them because uh, I bought one yesterday and the day before. Uh, we got, uh, I think there's one more back here if you're interested. I would love to buy it if you have more. Okay, let me make you a tag out. Okay. So I guess you have doors open now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just came out of there. Yeah, if you, if you got more, I'll buy them. This thing is nice. Oh, yeah. I'm opening a store here in town, so oh, very useful. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll have bought all three of them, I think. Or how many did you have originally? Do you know? Four, okay. four five. I'll have gotten three of them. I should have asked the first time, but it didn't cross my mind. Yeah, you're welcome to open them up and I'll give you Okay, one. cool. I don't pay for it right now. Funny enough, we have a U-Line clothing rack coming from, I think we bought it on Home Depot. It's it's not branded Uline, but it's Uline. And uh, I'm excited for it to get here, but honestly, I like these better because they're skinny metal, skinny base, and they just sort of disappear when you have clothes on them. I wish we could have got 10 more. I wish this store had been full of them. I'd have bought every one for $35 a piece. All right, well, good luck in your store. Yeah, easy peasy. Big July, it's the soonest, oh, so okay. pretty soon. And that, is that right next to the urgent care, the same building? It's right beside CVS. Uh, oh, the old, at the Y, that's yeah. the old Audio World building. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, the old audio store. Okay. Home appliance store. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, getting another building filled up. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're excited about it. They're, the construction crew's in there right now building us a bathroom. Well, and yeah, the floor. that's awesome. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. He said there were four or five, so we missed at least one. Since everything is blue, it's now time for wall racks. This is gonna be tedious. How about that? Let me show you the fruits of today's labor. Gymnastic clothes, and then pretty much baby clothes all along the wall. Now, mind you, we have third rows hanging for these baby clothes like this one, uh, but they're not hard enough yet. But that wall is just gonna be covered in clothing, and then I've got some special stuff I'm thinking about doing to it above, but how about that? It is quite the ongoing saga of these uh, galvanized steel pipe racks. I'm back at St. Vincent Paul's. They had another one. I went and paid for it. He says, hey, I got another one in here. And he recognized me because I bought the last two. And uh, he says they got a lot more of them coming. I guess they're sh shipping them in from another store. I don't know. But he's finding out for me how many they're going to have when we come back tomorrow. I told him I'd buy all I could get. Yeah, check back with us tomorrow. Okay, we will do. And Where are they coming in from? Well, we had a bunch of them up in the warehouse, up in our attic. Okay. I don't know if you can see if it's still as red as it was. Oh yeah, you see that dot? I took one of those clothes racks to the head. Like an hour ago, it sucked. What's the box? Uh, four diapers. We got Prezzies. Oh. It's for Bob. Gotta get the lights in the shop on this morning. So we've been buying all the cheap racks we can, but we did buy one new. It's a Z rack. It's like the standard U-Line rack that you see in a lot of stores. And we wanna try one out before we start buying used ones off the marketplace. We have no idea if they're gonna suit us or not, but we're about to try one out. We got seven minutes to put this together because that's all that's left on my memory card. Oh no. <laughs> Memory card. Hey, 
you, Rich. Okay, Big Bob, are you the same Bob as before? The one that we all have in our memory? Uh, I Listen, this box has every letter note you guys have ever sent me. And what I've been doing is going through and bindering them. No real order, just as I find them. And uh, I, I basically just tons of letters. I don't know if all of these are gonna fit in here, but what I've been trying to do is binder all the ones from the before times and then get a new binder for everything we will have been sent to the store. So like, here's the first package we got. And Bob, if there's a letter in here, I'll binder it in the new binder. But I'm telling you this to say, I tried to go through there and see if this was the same Bob that I remember. Cause Bob has, has sent a lot of awesome notes and other things. And I just don't know if it's the same one. Cause I remember Bob, but I don't remember the last name. So you have to let us know. This is gonna be hard to get into. Those scissors scary. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> so colorful. There is a letter. Oh, it is him! Hi Tindo, it's awesome to see you taking the next logical step opening up a store. I hope you and yours will have great success. To help out, I'm sending this box of goodies for your store. I hope it helps. Best wishes on the next step in your adventure, Bob. Oh. AKA Big Bob. I said all that, and it is him. A Winnie the Pooh puppet. <laughs> My hand won't fit though. That's a tiny squirsh. Nice. Two ponies, which honestly, I was gonna make a cubicle for ponies right here, so that works. Oh, is that a poo costume? That's cute. Oh. I'll hang this up. Yeah, you can hang that up too. It's a oh, Snoop PJ. Cute. Bob, why do you always have exactly what we need? When he used to send packages, it was like the stuff we needed. Ooh. I, haven't, I don't think I'm going to hang these in the store, but they are going to go up in the shop. I still have dozens. More clothes. LOL, let's go. Oh, nice. I've never... That's, that's Imaginex, the Power Ranger baddie. What is this? Inbox Lego. I was going to put up a shelf for Lego today. Bob really knows you. <laughs> Bob, you're paying too much attention. <laughs> That's awesome. See, this is what I recall last time. Bob, I know you probably told me in a letter that's in that box, but comment below so we remember. You sell at antique malls, do you have a store, you do flea markets? Maybe it was flea markets. Cause he's got all this awesome inbox stuff. It's really cool stuff. Is that Chopper? Yeah, it says Chopper. Yeah. Customizable Chopper. He's the, like the low keyest villain in all of Star Wars. I think he's killed more people than anybody. More pony. Captain Marvel. We're gonna fill this shelf up today. Is that a, it's a Woody Aww. pajamas and some uh, McDonald's toys. Bob, thanks so much. I, I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I I have a lot of used Lego to sell in the store as you got, I don't know how much of that made it into this video, probably a little, but like uh, having a shelf over there of some inbox stuff is nice. I've got four or five, so I'll add that to it. Appreciate it, peace. I'm having an interesting time figuring out how to film in the new space. It's just, it's not built in yet, so I gotta figure it out. But I am trying to get some furniture, some fixtures painted and or created today. So these are Ikea tables that I've turned into dump bins. I'm gonna do the same thing. These are those like super cheap Ikea coffee tables. I forget the names of them, but they're almost universally recognizable. Real cheap, you know, super, Super light wood, the whole thing doesn't weigh but a few pounds. And I'm going to turn them into more train tables to hold my train parts. No idea what I'm, what I'm really doing. I'm just gonna make it up. <coughs> one might be Ikea, one might be Walmart. <laughs> one at a time there. Glad I noticed now I didn't start cutting wood. I broke my T-square, I need a new one. So we're winging it with a regular ruler. Six dollars for the table at a Goodwill. They're a little more at Ikea, but I paid six dollars for one at a Goodwill and I think two dollars for another. And then those boards are about sixteen dollars a piece and it takes a whole board, so. Under $20, really, for a great dump bin, which I'm gonna paint, so it's really gonna look good by the end. There you go. 
two boats. Facebook Marketplace find that was a big part of this video. We talked about clothes racks. We talked about uh, store fixtures that I'm building. Now, let's talk about something that's uh, one of the bigger, in, in terms of actual size, parts of the store. I've got to find lock boxes, uh, display cases, like you see in video game stores and stuff, for the more cherry stuff in the store. So we gotta get out of Marketplace and try to find them used because the new prices on these things are uh, not acceptable. At a pawn shop, pick it up. Display cases. She said, like a glove. It's not heavy, it's just awkward. So I've got LED strips for them. Okay. But I've, oh, those are lights, I see. Yeah. Yeah, these are all for different places. Where do you guys have a store? These are all too big. Jasper, oh. Indiana. All right, going up. Yeah. You want to hold fingers? You all right? Yeah. I was worried about your fingers. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Going up. You want to sit down there? You can bring your fingers Okay. Well, that was all kinds of crazy. It was a pawn shop that's closing down. And uh, we got all three of those cases for $250. We thought we were going to pay way more. We got out pretty cheap. And they have two or three more. So we might come back and get more. But that was definitely all we could get in the trailer. Thank God for this trailer. How am I going to get those in here by myself? I don't know, but I've got an idea. Working woman now. I gave you the bad end for real. You want to start a professional moving company with me? Never. Never. <laughs> this is case number two. I think we got it. I think we're going to be all right. Power lifter here. Lockbox, they're foggy because of the temperature difference inside and out. But we have a stair situation that we can't really get rid of. We kind of want to, don't know if we can. Probably won't be able to. So since this one's top only, you don't have to get down in this space to look at this. I think I'm gonna leave it there. And then back these up, I don't know. Might back all of them up, but at any rate, this is where it's gonna be. There'll be shelves on the walls back there. Lego, Pokemon cards, stuff in the lockbox. That was a successful, but a little bit freaky. Yeah. Marketplace trip. For real. The trailer paid off. And uh, we're done for the day. Leave us alone. So we have a visitor at the shop today. He should be here. I think he's already here. What's up, buddy? Chris Bauer, Sets Streets and Eats. Check out his YouTube page here. I hear you're opening a toy store. I'm opening a toy store, and you're the first visitor to come since Ooh. having done just about anything. I walked in, and I saw you had a Nerf wall. That's to throw the public off so that the public driving by thinks we're opening a Nerf range. It looks like a Nerf range. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, can we shoot people with these? Yeah. Then I saw the swords. I'm like, that's off. Is that a Nerf, like, hatchet? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because it's it's made of Nerf foam. You can, That's amazing. Your kids can beat each other with it. And, <laughs> Just like chopping yeah. people. I bring you uh, expensive knot toys. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, I used them stuff. like once. Okay. And uh, you use GoPros, and this yeah, yeah. is the DJI version, except for the gimbal. The gimbal you can use on GoPro. But oh, shit. Well, thank also, you. Also, there's a camera dolly in there. 
Fantastic. Well, so these are your used camera goods. Uh, one of them's really these literally a brand new. Okay. Uh, you literally use these once. This is super used. Okay. Because I upgraded, but it's the I think it just needs a new uh, battery on the. Cool. Remote, so. Well, fantastic. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, uh, no problem. Well, uh, I've got some I've got some presents downstairs. Sweet. For you as well. I figured you probably did. I didn't want to come empty-handed. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. I see. I see what's going on. These guys watching have the benefit of watching every time I find something in the bins for you. Excellent. <laughs> I'm excited. So someone watching may know what it is, but here's what's gonna happen. I think Chris is the perfect person for this to see to get a tour of the store in, in the middle right now. Right, we'll have to find someone to see the store for the first time when it's when it's ready and up and going. But we're in this. Big. Just, we're midway through decorating this place. Yeah, that's big. So earlier on in this video, these guys watched us put up these clothes racks and stuff like this, and uh, it's starting to look like a store. Yeah. That looks awesome. And we're we're right now in the middle of just shopping for clothes racks to go in the middle of the floor, but the wall racks are up. You guys got some clothes. Right. That's it's the crazy. That's the name of the game around here. Woo. And of course when the store's open, it'll be buy, sell, and trade. Uh-huh. So we'll be e it'll be easy to restock. And what's crazy about this, man, I mean you've been to how you've been to the bins with me before. Oh, yeah. sure. A couple times, a couple yeah. different states. That's true. And is it they're usually dirty places, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's yeah. and you, you that's sort of all you think about them if you've yeah, only you been need a few times. Afterwards. But but look how nice and clean all these yeah. clothes are. Uh -huh. I mean if you go to the right bins and you work hard enough, you can come away with some clean well, stuff. Well, and it also goes to show you if you just, you know, wash everything no matter what you buy at the bins you go wash afterwards that's good as new i mean yeah. that's i mean that's true it's not like it's I mean, it's someone's trash but it really is yeah. somebody else's treasure so. but I, I just can't be more proud of the fact we've stocked all this just for the bins yeah. uh the construction crew has been building his bathrooms and try on nice. rooms and there's there's more space back there uh, but yeah, it's just like been doing much in here. And if you go to that door right in front of you, uh -huh. this is our loading dock. Ooh, this, sweet! It's also where I've been storing most Holy of the toys. Crap. That's yeah. Imagine That's nerfs. Imagine if I put all those Nerf guns oh on the wall God. up there. But the hope is, I yeah. open with good Nerf stock I'd and, say you got some. and have plenty to keep the stock going for a while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because those might sell really quickly. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And this is just all the toys. We do have a loading yeah. dock. That's Pokemon, baby. <laughs> Magic. And I want to fill this up, but I'm, you know, I'm. Look at you, a library car with books. Is, isn't that moderately nostalgia inducing? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I see like that at the bins, I buy it. If it oh, feels. It goes quick. Oh, yeah. Well, the, this is the other cool thing about a lot of these plushies. Yeah. Um, the Squishmallow will clean up well, so yeah. I wash them if they're dirty. Oh, of course. But then, like, this guy just came without his eye patch on. I just sewed it back on. Oh, nice. So no, you don't, no um, one will ever yeah. know. Oh, people would snatch that up. But the best thing about this store is that if you just saw all this, you'd be like, well, that's pretty cool. Because, like, you know, here's a whole other room, plenty uh -huh. of space. But it's just not even half of it. All right. So there's a staircase over here, which I've got to figure out how to block off so kids don't. <laughs> right run downstairs and play yeah, with you my... you definitely need to, like, finish it. Yeah. I, I need kids not to come downstairs yeah, and play with... Sure. Play with... Down the stairs. Well, I'm more worried about them coming to play with my table saw. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I like all the lights. Also, comment below. If you're someone who doesn't happen to watch his videos, but you do recognize his voice, comment below and tell us where, <laughs> where you know his voice from. In a world. Check this out. Where you have all the disco balls. That's the only disco ball I've ever found at the bins. <laughs> so this is my workshop. Yeah. That's a and pretty much this whole room over here I've just made. Oh, Lord, this is just as big. Yeah. And like. Actually, this looks bigger. It is, technically. Because it doesn't have the back cut off. Look at this old RCA shell. Right? That's the coolest thing ever. Dude. And I, they, they were. Ah, oh, lights up. Dude. Yeah. It's even got the switch. If that's I find a awesome. if I find a reason to put it upstairs, I will. Oh, that's so. Cool. This place used to be like a stereo store. Dude, that's really cool. Yeah, that's why it hasn't been thrown away. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so I'm basically just using this room as my like organizing wow. room overflow. Maybe one day I'll put more workspace in here, but I don't need it yet because look how much I have next door. Man, this place is huge. Yeah. Well, like wow. there's still a little bit more out here. You're gonna have to go sideways to get through this door. 
Just yeah, give me one. Fine. So like I have a room back here. Proton pack. Oh, dude! I didn't. What? Did you picture that? From the bins, man. I paid like three what? bucks for it. That's actually pretty cool looking. Yeah. Too. It just needs the uh, the blaster. It needs a little repair. It does. But it, but I, <laughs> it needs the rest of its. Yeah. Uh, rest of its blaster. You know what I'm gonna do with it? Is I'm gonna put it on a mannequin. I. Yeah. I don't know where it is. I have the cost. The body suit right here somewhere. I'm gonna put it on a mannequin and put it upstairs. I think. That's super cool. But yeah, it's like two hundred something dollars on eBay. I found it at the bin. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a pretty good size one. I've seen the kid one where right. it's not hardly anything. Well, still, that's really cool. the kid one's still surprisingly valuable. What on is eBay. the school of rock poster? Right, that's going to my office. What? <laughs> Man, I gotta start going to these bins. You've got them all the time. <laughs> well, or you need to tell that's me so what terrible. else. I know. I know it's hard to know what you like until you I see know. it. But you know, if you're looking well, for something like that, I'm always looking for something for my kids because my my one daughter is an LPS nut. Little pet shops. Okay. So if you ever see LPS stuff, which you probably should, it's obviously worth tons of money now yeah. because of the. Oh yeah, it's a, of it, but it's she incredible. has pretty much all of it. But she's always buying more, but she has a channel too for it. And then my other kid is into retro '90s stuff. And then this over here. Here's the thing. I keep talking about how I could sort of put up my own collection. Oh, oh that's where we came down. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, this is a whole other room. Is this more space? I sort of want to decorate this room in some way. I mean, that school rock poster, I thought about just blasting every inch of the wall with the retro posters. Absolutely. Just, you know, just staple them all right on. Yeah, because if anybody does come down here, it would be cool to make the opening room something cool. Yeah. And make it a retro room would be... A no-brainer. Well, I, I think I think often about putting my collection in here. Actually, this is a good-looking collection room. It's already yeah. carpeted. It's the only carpeted room down here. You already got white walls. Yeah. Did you get rid of all those yellow shelves? Yes, unfortunately. Oh. But but you could pay more. Oh, well, I, I'm going to make them this time. Oh, okay. Right? And I can make them. Oh, yeah. You could just do shelving with shelving brackets. Yeah. 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 Then you could do long runs. Yeah. Well, that and I have a lot of floating shelves. I thought about doing something yeah, yeah. random and whimsical, but. That would be cool. If you think of any ideas, you can text me, but you guys comment below too. And if you think of anything, I'm, I'm open to suggestions because I've got my workshop, we've got the store upstairs, but what this else do we need? Kind of cool because, I mean, you're going to run into choice things in the bins. I mean, you've proven that time and time again. Stuff you're not going to want to sell, something, just stuff that is rare, stuff that you come across. It would be kind of cool to have a trophy room for yeah. it as you've had in the past. Yeah. And it'd be cool to fill it up. I mean, it would cool, be cool just to have it for the background of videos. Like, I used to do podcasts in front of that setup, and that's 100%. cool. But obviously, there's a little bit of liability introduced if, A, I allow customers access to a staircase at all, but B, if I let them mirror my stuff unsupervised, they're just going to put it in their pockets. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still think you should keep customers out. Yeah. <laughs> but at least it's good for tours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If people come in and say, hey, Tinder, love your YouTube channel, I'll be like, okay, come yeah. downstairs. Let's go downstairs yeah. and check out the good room. Well, Chris, appreciate you coming by. No problem, buddy. I enjoyed uh, it. Where are you off to next in your next video? Uh, next video is going to be East Coast, baby. I'm hitting all the East Coast Chuck E. Cheeses. Uh, I now have permission from corporate. No joke. Yeah. That's uh, huge. We've not talked about that. Ahead. Yeah. So corporate got a hold of me and they invited me down. I got to uh, tour the corporate world headquarters there in Dallas. And uh, they're going to, I can let them know my schedule beforehand. And did you just will, give uh, me an exclusive or did you uh, send no, this actually, on channel? No, I just posted okay. that video. Good. If you want to check it out, Seth Streets and Eats uh, I'll put a link on down YouTube. Here. And uh, yeah, so I did that tour and then uh, all I have to let them know is my schedule and they will call ahead to uh, stores. Backstory on that is there's been several stores where I'll go in to film a store review of a Chuck E. Cheese and the manager will be like, no, dude. That's only happened five or six times out of the hundred plus Chuck E. Cheese store visits, but it sucks when it happens yeah. because some of them I've had to travel far too. Sure, um, but that will no longer happen. All I gotta do is let them know my schedule. Well, that's a perfect set. It's a perfect segue. P long time viewers of this channel know that I have for a long time enjoyed adding to other people's collections. Sure, sure. I love it when when someone has a shelf full of something specific in their their house, their game room, their cave, their office. I love giving something. So this guy collects Chuck E. Cheese stuff. I do. That's Look the, at this bad boy! That's got to be about the biggest, oldest Chuck I've it ever is. seen. It is! Look at his old felt vest! And look how it's just a little grimy because it's definitely oh, from the, yeah. definitely from the 80s. the rat tail! This is early 80s! I can't even remember what bins I found oh that in, but I God. I know I put a video up of it. That's so, so cool. Here's the next one. And this is the derpest. Yes. This is the derpest Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes! I no just, man Chucky. I just found that in Nashville a couple days ago. CEC, that is hilarious. Chucky e. Cheese just Chuck e. is Cheese Limited Edition. <laughs> It's 2000 something, but I, now, can't, I can't read what it is, but that is awesome. You make a lot of your content going to these places. Not yeah. not as much about collecting as I do. But That's what, true. But That's what do true. you collect? I do collect anything Showbiz Pizza Place, old school Chuck E. Cheese, or honestly, I mean, I'm not really new school Chuck E. Cheese, but I do like a lot of the plush uh, just because there is a lot of different years where there's variations on it. They obviously always sell plush in the stores, but I do like a lot of the older plush. So, so if you see something cool, do you like it? 2000s and okay. back. But yeah. Do you collect McDonald's stuff? Oh yeah. Anything old McDonald land. Like hamburger. That's an old one too. <laughs> it's so old. That Look at the pro- old font on the back of him. Yeah. Look at that. That's an old hamburger. Well, I'm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you for the camera equipment. I'm happy to uh, add you. to your. I appreciate your collection. that, buddy. These are awesome. Uh, I really, really love old Chuck here. Yeah. That's amazing. That's an old Pizza Time Theater check. That's pretty cool. Pizza Time Theaters went out of business while well, they got merged. And they quit being a thing in the mid '80s, so that's pretty. Wish awesome. you have the. That's not <laughs> Which yeah, this yeah. is Showbiz Pizza Place, but they ended up merging yeah. with Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Time Theater to make Chuck E. Cheese that we know today. So. I and if you like content like that, learning about those kind of things, check his channel out. I do. You're probably one of like <laughs> two YouTubers that I watch every video. Oh, I appreciate that, buddy. I definitely. Uh, I think we watch each other's videos pretty religiously. Yeah. So. What's well, the only way we can keep up? Well, with that's each other. true. Actually, that's a good point. We never get to see each other. Very we, much. We're we, always going somewhere. For so many years, we've. You wouldn't believe how many times we've randomly ended up in the same town. I know, that's true. For no reason, and found out. <laughs> and sometimes we find out and hang Afterwards. out. And sometimes just like, dude, I just left. I was just there. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you, man. All right, buddy, man. It's good seeing you. That is it, guys. That is the first couple few weeks of us putting the store together obviously there's plenty more to come both with the store upstairs and the workshop downstairs i've been building stuff i've been buying tools i've got a new workbench that i thought i was gonna put uh in this video but uh the what's going on top of it did not show up in time to get this video out there's a lot more to come I don't even know how to contain it in the closing of this video, how to really promise you what's coming because it's so colossal. So please hit the subscribe button. More importantly, if you've been around for a while and these videos might have just gotten your attention and brought you back in for a visit, make sure you're subscribed uh, and make sure those notifications are coming in. So when I post these videos further, you'll be able to come and check them out. You're not going to want to miss it. We're doing big things on this channel. So until next time, peace out.